Membership sites are a very good and very profitable business model. If you've ever hung out at an internet marketing forum or spoken to other internet marketers, you will realize that pretty much all of them consider membership sites to be a good thing. They think it's something that is wonderful, something that makes them money. And they do. A good membership site can make you an awful lot of money. You think about it, you have a hundred members paying you even say ten dollars a month. That's a thousand dollars a month from one site. So you can see it's very, very profitable. And some of these sites, you know, you've got a forty, fifty dollar say fifty dollar a month site with a hundred members, that's five thousand dollars a month in your pocket. Now that isn't bad, that's pretty much a full time income for many people. So you can see membership sites can very, very quickly become extremely profitable for you. And there's certainly something that you should have in your business portfolio. The real advantage of a membership site is that the buyer becomes actively involved in the sales process. In traditional sales, you know, the buyer purchases, they download the product and it's, you know, bye bye, see you later, we'll never speak again. You then market to them via email and they may or may not get involved, open your emails or whatever. With membership sites though, the buyer becomes active because they physically have to come to your site to get their products or their content or whatever it might be. If it's a PLR membership site, once a month they have to log in or however often they have to log into your site to get your uh, their products. If it's a, a training program, they have to log in every week or whatever it might be to download the training materials. Now, this means that they are actively involved. They're not just sitting there going, well, I've got a book, it's sat on my hard drive, I'll forget about it. They have to come along every month, download the materials, and then use them. And of course, because they're logging into your site, you have the opportunity to market to them. They're much more involved, they're much more familiar with you, with who you are, and so on. So the basic principle of a membership site is a buyer joins a site, they become a member and then you build your relationship with them as sort of an active buyer. That's basically what it is. A membership site could be anything, it could be training materials, it could be social networking group, it could be PLR, it could be absolutely anything. It doesn't matter what it is, it could be anything at all. Anything which lends itself to material being delivered at intervals over a period of time. Now you either have uh, pay a fee, and we'll talk about the different types of fees later on, or they join for free. And again, we'll talk about that in more depth. It depends upon the type of business model you're operating as to whether they pay a fee, and if they do, how they pay it, or whether they become a free member. It's an extremely popular and very, very flexible model, and one that, frankly, you know, so many marketers are using and really really enjoying the benefits from. If you haven't got any membership sites then I'd really recommend you watch this video series and seriously consider adding some membership sites to your portfolio. They can provide you with a nice income. Now this course is going to talk through about membership sites, what they are, how to find content and so on. So we're going to start by telling you why membership sites are so good. We're going to talk about what's good about them, why they're so powerful, you know, why they're such a popular business model. We're going to look at the many different scripts available to you. There's lots and lots of different scripts and uh, you can look at them and determine which one's for you. Now obviously it depends upon your exact needs. I'm not going to say this is the best script. I'm going to show you a number of different options and then you can decide from those options um, which one's best for you or you may decide something completely different. We're going to talk about how you find a niche as well. We're not going to go into a great deal of depth about picking a niche because obviously niche research is a subject that's pretty much a training course in itself and there's lots of other material on it. But we're going to have an overview of finding a niche and what makes a good niche for a membership site. We're going to look at the different formats of a membership site as well. The different ways of presenting the material and so on. So we want to discuss how you can create a variety of different membership sites all with differing appeal. We're going to talk about content. At the end of the day, your membership site is about content. Without content, no membership site. So we're going to talk about what you can use as content, where to find it, how to create it, what sort of content your potential members are after. We're also going to talk about how to retain members. Now this is very, very important. 
Um, if you can't retain members, you're going to have a high attrition rate, which means you're constantly working to try and recruit new members, which obviously is no good for you. So we're going to talk about how you retain your members. We're also going to talk about why a free membership can be so very, very profitable for you. Now, a lot of sites will have free membership options, and they have them for a reason, and we'll talk about that in a little while. We're going to talk about traffic. Now, obviously, without traffic, your membership site is dead in the water. So we're going to talk about how you get traffic. Now, obviously, again, we're not going to go into a massive in-depth traffic generation uh, study program here. Um, that's elsewhere. There's lots of other material. But we're going to talk specifically about traffic methods for membership sites. And also, uh, and I do think this is very important, we're going to talk about what you need to do in order to make that first month successful. Now, the first month the, when people sign up and join, that's the big one. That's where you have the most members uh, unsubscribe and leave. So we're going to talk about what you need to do in order to make that first month super successful for you. And of course, there's going to be lots, lots more in this course. It's going to be full of useful information, so you may want to grab yourself a coffee uh, or a cup of tea, or a pen and paper, and sit down and get ready for a really, really good learning experience.